Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to do an update on the RS1619XS Plus. <laughs> Okay, so straight off the bat, for those that don't know, Computex 2018 is on right now. But, um, at the same time as Computex, lots of other brands, including the big guys at Synology, have had hired events around Computex happening at the same time. When you think about it, it makes a great deal of sense. Um, having a stall or a stand at Computex is vastly expensive, and with all of the world's media flocking to this event and see it next week, it makes financial sense for a company, rather than to have a stand at an expo, where all and sundry can walk around, that they hire a whole area in a hotel or an executive office centre for a far lower price and therefore advertise that they've got their own exhibition happening right there and then and then everyone who are more focused towards their product attend this event. It makes perfect sense. Which brings us to the RS1619XS Plus. The Synology Solution Exhibition or SSE happened yesterday and it started yesterday and one of the big, big um, items that was there was this rack mount device. Now we've already talked about this here on the channel and on NAS Compares a little while ago, but now the specs have been fully more fleshed out. Now, I'm pleased to say that nearly everything that I predicted about this device turned out to be true. I was wrong on some of the other devices, and I'll address those in other videos. But this one, the things straight away, the RS1619XS Plus, for a start, is available in two versions, a redundant power supply version and a non-redundant power supply version. The one with the RP, respectively, means the redundant power supplier. If you look at my notes throughout the video, don't worry, I've st still got my attention. Um, the CPU inside is indeed a Xeon. It is the Xeon D1527, a quad-core 2.2 gigahertz CPU that can be boosted up to 2.7. In other words, insanely powerful in terms of uh, a CPU there. On top of that, it arrives with either eight or all the way up to 64 gig of DDR4 memory. So great memory, and I believe ECC as well. With this, this one new enclosure, can store up to four hard drives then. It supports the very latest 12 and soon to be announced 14 TB NAS hard drives as well as SSDs as well. It has NVMe SSD support as well. And on the rear, we've got four gigabit LAN ports as predicted along with two USB and an expansion slot for the RX1217, which means this device can support up to 16 hard drives at once with that big old expansion unit. Now, because this is an XS series NAS, it's part of their Elite series, which means it has SRS, Synology Replacement Service, where Advanced Warranty Replacement and Next Day Replacement is completely available across most of the globe. And on top of that, five years of manufacturer's warranty. Now, as mentioned in my other video, and I cannot stress this enough, this device represents two things. One, it is a, a, a better um, business model, in my opinion, that Synology are going for of leveraging power versus storage. Up until the release of a couple of their more modern units in the 2019 series, the majority of their units made you made it, made, forced you to make a choice. Storage, capacity, number of bays, versus power. In almost every regard, you had to buy a powerful NAS with very few storage bays, or a huge NAS with loads of storage base and mediocre hardware inside. There's only a few exceptions to this rule, and these exceptions, your RS3617XSs uh, and your, you know, your flash station modules, these devices were exorbitantly expensive, two and a half, three, four thousand pounds without the VAT, and indeed the money you're spending on storage. Whereas this device, the RS1619XS Plus, represents a better model. It gives you a huge amount of power and at least four bays, something we've only ever seen in one other device, the DS918 Plus, but this is even more so. I'm not going to say this is going to be a cheap device, it really won't be. I think this is going to sit at 12 or 1500 pounds at least, but you are going to be hard pushed to get a better hardware versus storage versus cost model than this device. Now, when it's available, hopefully September, October of this year, maybe pushing into November for the more enterprise stuff, but this is definitely a NAS to keep an eye on. And not just high level business users, because the hardware uh, uh, hardware support on this, and indeed the background um, long term support, and that you know safety net of the SRS and warranty, mean this device is definitely game changing. It's something you need to invest in. And of course, this is the first four bay XS NAS for rack mount. So again, hopefully we're gonna see more devices like this as Synology sort of evolve into this model of um, let, coming up with more middle ground NAS. Now we'll be talking about all the other devices that were updated at the Synology um, 
uh, solution exhi uh, exhibition. Most of them we covered, but a couple that we didn't. So do check out and do f subscribe to both here on NAS Compares YouTube and the NAS Compares blog in the description below. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.